Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on interpreting the electron configuration of an atom or atomic ion. We've done things similar to this in the past. I think this will be really easy. It gives you an atomic or electron configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. So we want to find out what element has 3p6, where everything is up to 3p6. Well, 3 is, so we want to we want to see uh, group 3, so group 3 is anything from sodium, magnesium, aluminum, all the way to argon. 3p6, here's the p's, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 3p6 would be argon, but it says that it's not argon because it says that it's an anion with a negative 2 charge, and argon is just a neutral element. So I need something that is 2 less than argon, 2 less p electrons than argon, because if it steals 2 in order to become have the configuration of argon, then it's an ion. It's a negative 2 ion. So first of all, I can almost guess what it is now. If it's negative 2 and it has the configuration of argon, then that means it has to be two less than argon, which is sulfur, okay? It's stolen two in order to have the configuration of argon, so it's gonna be sulfur, all right? So what are they asking us? What is the chemical symbol for the ion? Well, the chemical symbol for the ion is sulfur, but it's gonna be sulfur with a two minus because it's an anion. And how many electrons does it have? Well. Let's go back. How many electrons does argon have? Because sulfur had 16 and then it has two more because it's a negative 2 anion. So argon has 18. So this is going to have to be 18. And then the last question, how many P, 3P electrons are in the, are in the ion? Well, um, that's actually pretty easy. It's 3P6, so there's 6. If it says 3p6, there's six 3p electrons. Thank you.